Gary, there'll be huge frustration and disappointment in conceding the late winner, but is there also pride in the performance? Yeah, we're, we're massively disappointed. Um, yeah, you could say, you know, we're pleased with the performance, and, you know, but at the end of the day, um, we're coming away with nothing yeah, in a game that we should be coming away with um, something. And, uh, you know, a mistake, we said to them at half-time, fine details, small details will determine the outcome of the game. And mistake has cost us. I thought Will, Will Evans was very good tonight. Been a mistake in the far corner. He's apologised um, to the group, which is a credit to him. But we're in it all together. It's not just him. And we're, we're all frustrated. And that's it over the, the 180 minutes, Saturday to Tuesday, the team has not got what it deserved. No. No, we haven't. Uh, in all fairness, we haven't. But um, I've also t said to the players that we we've had in both games, you know, lots of possession. We've created chances, and we haven't we haven't scored enough goals. And I've made that quite clear to the group tonight that um, you know we have to do that also, score goals. You know, you can't continue to keep clean sheets. We are going to make mistakes. Um, We've, we've been very, very tight at the back, but we are creating chances and we're not taking them. So, you know, we have to make sure that uh, we do so. We've spoken about how, particularly on Saturday, how the goals will come. Are you, are you starting to see, like, something different needs to be done or, or is the message still, keep doing what you're doing, lads, no, it no. will come? And, you know, the frustrating thing is we are, we're, we're playing decent football. We're, we're creating chances and we're not taking them at the moment. Um, but, you know, the players in them positions are going to have to because that's why they're in the, this group. The front players within our, within our team um, are going to have to chip in with the goals. It's as simple as that, you know. And uh, I said that to the lads in the dressing room. I'm saying it here. Uh, they know my feelings on it. Um, and we're going to have to do that as a group. But for the second game in a row, again, to allude back to Saturday, we're talking about a shot that's hit the post in the last couple of minutes that could have given us a much more positive result. You go through spells like this during the course of the season, but when, it, when you're going through it, uh, when you, you feel you deserve more from games, it's, it's, it's bitterly disappointing. Um, but you, again, tonight you can't take anything away from the players. You've got to give them credit for their, the way they played. Um, they took on board what uh, was put into practice on the training ground. And um, we're going back home with nothing, which, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm bitterly, bitterly disappointed. Dagenham in second. They're moving up the table, but shots certainly for the large parts of the game matched them, asked them lots of questions. No, we did. You know, they're second in the table. They're, a, you know, they're a good side. Um, they've got good players. They've got a very, very experienced and good manager. But we matched them. We more than matched them. And um, we should, we should be going home with something. And uh, we, we mustn't go away from what we're trying to uh, uh, do here uh, and, uh, and how we're trying to play, because we play very, very well. Uh, this season, we've 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 moved the ball around very very well again tonight. We've created chances tonight, um, and we mustn't lose sight of the fact of what we're trying to do and how we're trying to play, and uh, we'll continue to do so. And in particular, Dagenham had started the game really well. It started a lot of pace. Lesser teams might have buckled under that pressure, but the shots stood up to it and grew grew into the game. Well, yeah, you're right. They did start well, uh, and we grew into the game, but. We grew into the game and, you know, second half, you know, we were on the front foot and uh, I think you can tell that in our conversation, I am I'm frustrated. But th those are the fine margins again, the, the mistake in the corner, the shot hitting the post, at the moment, they're going against us, but you can't, you can't wallow in that, that misery, you've got to come stronger and, and put it right on Saturday, I suppose. I can tonight. I can well, I win it tonight. I can be frustrated and angry tonight, but uh, as soon as I wake up tomorrow morning, we'll be right on it for the game on Saturday. Look, against Torquay, Matty McClaws had an unbelievable strike, and it's hit the inside of the post. Their keeper, I'm repeating myself, played very well Saturday, and right at the death there, we've had a, a, 
a fantastic effort again, which on well, any other given occasion could possibly nestle in the back of the net, but that's not to be. Um, we'll pick the bones out of how we play tonight, we'll address the areas that we need to address, we need goals, and we'll move on to Saturday's game. Well, thank you very much, Gary. Good thank night. you.